Hey, hey, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. All right, let's take a look at BG Info. This is a pretty cool little application. It's from Sys Internals. Uh, let's say that you have, uh, we're going to go to the package library first. We're going to download that. Let's say you have some users or a user that calls you up and says, I've got a problem with my, with my computer and you need some information from this user about maybe the IP address of the computer or the MAC address or, or whatever. And of course, you don't want to have to always try to walk that user through trying to find this information. That's what BG Info comes in. And we've had some requests. Hey, we want to we want to run BG Info on our uh, as, a, as a part of the package library, so we can just de deploy it out to somebody. The way we built this, however, is not going to deploy it. It's just going to run it on the target computer. If you, I'm going to open this up quickly, just so you can see what the package looks like. We have one step. It's a command step. Here we simply copy the bginfo.exe file out to the user's, the target user's temporary directory. And then we start bginfo with, this, with these uh, uh, specific command line parameters. We're just going to do the pop-up window. Those of you who are familiar with bginfo, we're not going to actually modify the desktop of the target computer. So let's do this. I'm going to run it to this machine just so you can see what it looks like on your end user, for your end users. So they're saying you need to get a, a specific information from them. Just deploy this. And that's what they would see, a pop-up window on their screen where they, your end user could then give you uh, the information that you need. Um, just to show you how we're doing this, remember, most of the time, you can't display a, a window like this via a deployment. But I'm kind of tripping over here. But if you use the different run as for logged on user, what we're actually doing is running this to a target computer. And if there's a user that's logged on, it's going to run the process in an interactive session on their desktop. So that's why they can see it. Usually the run as is set to deploy user, which is what you want almost all of the time. But there are times you're going to have to run a step as the logged on user. So we run it as logged on user. The conditions that we have set only run if a user is logged on. If a user is not logged on to that computer, this package actually will fail with an error. None of the conditions were met. And there you go. Just a little cheat sheet, just a, another, another little thing you can use with uh, PDQ Deploy. Remember, it's not just about installing software. You can run scripts. You can run utilities. Uh, there's a lot that you can do. I'm Shane. We'll talk to you later.